Hi there, I'm Andrew Brown. Sam Stosa says she's fulfilled a lifetime dream by winning her first Grand Slam title at the US Open. Harry Kuehl has completed his first session with his new A-League club Melbourne Victory. You've made some interesting comments about Will Genia's importance to Australia's World Cup campaign. Just how pivotal a player is he? Why, why don't we take off the silver all the time like we used to in tennis? Well, I think we have to be realistic that it's going to be very difficult to get back to those glory days. The Australian cricket captain is here and he joins us now. And Michael, you're not about to go from baggy green to galloping green, are you? No, I'm sticking with cricket. Phil, thanks for joining us. And Just how big an event is this and how lucky are we to have it in Australia? It doesn't get any bigger in the world of cycling, Andrew. Now, Andrew, it was a bruised and battered Lockyer at training today. Brad, he looked a little bit like the Terminator, but that's hardly surprising when you consider it was only two days ago that Lockyer had three metal plates inserted into his face. Yes, good afternoon, Robin. Gabe Waterhouse described it as a dream come true to take out this afternoon's $2.5 million feature. Her father, the great TJ Smith, won the race four times, but this was Gay's first win in the Caulfield Cup. It's one of the most beautiful offices in the world, and it's housed Bart Cummings for decades. But Flemington track work has been missing the master trainer this spring. Uh, Gay thinks that uh, uh, the second horse is worth 50 million. My goodness, what is the winner worth? <laughs> <laughs> and celebrations like these could be commonplace for Barton Co. this spring carnival. Four years later, the son of one of those horses, racing under the name of Comedy King, won this, the 50th Melbourne Cup. Yes, hello to you, Rob. And as you just mentioned, the weather wasn't the best. In fact, it's absolutely teamed down here today. A real Derby Day drenching. And they're going crazy for caviar. Moody's so confident in his mare that come rain, hail or shine on Saturday, the champ will be here. 350 kilometres west of Alice Springs, a bunch of Indigenous kids can't hide their excitement. Hello, hello. Good day, you are. Hello, hello. St Kilda's wind sparked the town band into action and some pretty wild celebrations outside the local shop as all 120 of the community's population came out to celebrate. And when the team arrives, they can forget about their protein shakes and energy gels. Just like the locals, they'll be feeding on bush tucker like these honey ants. Mmm. Not bad. And temperatures can reach a staggering 60 degrees Celsius. Try coping with that on an eight-hour drive. Ready to go? Let's do it. Richards only has 30 horses on his books and Al Mindoro is his only runner on Saturday. He's also the most expensive horse Richards has ever raced. Congratulations to our reporter Andrew Brown. Andrew has taken out the Melbourne Racing Club's award for best television news coverage of the Caulfield Cup. He does a terrific job during the Spring Carnival down there in Melbourne. And that's not the first award he's won? No, he, he does very well each year. Yeah. It's Brownie's shout tonight.